All right. Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Rita Fleming. I'm one of the co-hosts for our retreat coming up in October. And I'm really looking forward to this experience. For one, it's just amazing when we come together as a community and actually get to meet each other sometimes for the first time in person and come together as a larger team and collective. It's beyond words inspiring, you know, what that does getting to meet each other in person. So I'm really excited and I'm really excited to be co-hosting this with such an amazing group of leaders. And I want to hear today, especially from Carrie Drinkwine and Carrie Tidwell, because they just got back from touring Dave Sandoval's land, which is where we're going to be hosting the retreat. And we're going to get to, you know, really hear his stories, ask him questions, um, and learn from him firsthand, which is really exciting about not only the superfoods, but this larger mission and community and impact that we're all part of. So I'm going to open this up um, to Carrie, to the Carries to go ahead and introduce yourselves. Um, go ahead, Carrie. Okay, I'm going to just go quick because uh, Ash is needing mama right now. Um, so thank you. I appreciate it. And yeah, I'm just really excited to be here with everybody. And what I'll say is being out. So Carrie and I just got to go out to Dave's land. Like Rita was saying, we spent a few days out there and just really getting to drop in with Dave and his mission and his vision. And I don't know how many owners of companies you get to go to his house, right? It's not like something that just happens. And so he really values each person here. And it was really great to hear his greater mission and like what he really sees Purium rippling out to be. And so um, I'm so inspired to just be in community in this way and to really like have time to actually exhale together. Like, yes, let's do our business trainings, but let's go to the hot springs. Let's go to the Sequoia Forest. Let's go to the beach on the last day if you want to, right? Let's go play and, and create meaningful relationships because so much of this business is about building relationships and not selling. Um, and so I see that as like just this beautiful weave that we're making when we really create these cross-team connections and online connections at a deeper level, we can show up in a different way for our business and we can show up in a way that's like truly heart centered, but also like we want to help Deetra out and we want to help carry out and we want to help because we know and we're invested in these people. So that's what I see for this. Um, and then I can come back to details after Carrie talks. Yeah, thanks, Carrie and Rita. And yeah, just um, being together in person is just so different than over Zoom. And you just get a totally different feel. You get to really feel the community, the heart and mission of the company in a whole new way. And I don't know if I'd be here if I didn't go to live events. Um, and I just wanted to create, help co-create something that was in more alignment with like, yeah, being out in nature and doing traveling in the way I want to, not sitting in a hotel room from, you know, nine to five, um, because we really preach that freedom lifestyle. And so I want to create an, this with everyone to, to share that, to share good business training and have like amazing takeaways that you can have tangible material to work with and work on that personal development along with some skills that you'll walk away with business wise that you can not only take in this business, but you can use it for your other businesses if you have them. And so it's really an, gonna be an incredible training on so many levels and just connecting in with people that are on the similar vibration of like, you know, taking good care of their health and um, all about planetary wellness. And one thing I loved about connecting in with Dave is how welcoming he was and how humble. He actually, where Carrie was staying when we stayed there, he lived there for three years when he had his little baby and it's his tiny little apartment and he recently just moved and um, we got to see his house and hang out with him and his daughter and his wife and um, just hear more of his personal stories. And that was, it's just really nice to just connect in and get to know him more. And he's just, yeah, has a beautiful heart and a beautiful mission. And not only does he want to help end human suffering and regenerate the earth soil, he shared some other things that I was like, he wants everyone to have radical acceptance for themselves. And like, I love that. I love being around people that do that. And I see that with all of us, we all have our unique gifts to share and contribute. And I wanna just really 
inspire or like walk away feeling more confident in who we are each as individuals and how we can come together from all backgrounds, all walks of life in a good way, sharing in this common good for the good of all people um, and sharing what's possible when we share our story. And so uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone in person and connecting in this way. And I, and I love hot springs and I love the ocean and doing things like this. So it was nice to experience that. So we have an idea of how long it takes to get places. And then I also wanted to introduce my sister, Sherry. She's an amazing photographer and she's going to be there to take like headshots and capture some of just the natural, you know, um, authentic like connections and different things throughout the retreat so we can use that in our business as well and so I just wanted to introduce Sherry and she can share a little bit about um, her photography and um, yeah anything else you'd like to share Sherry and so thank you Sherry for being here and I'm um, looking forward to doing or joining you in this retreat and then having you offer that photography for people who are wanting headshots for their business. Great. Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Sherry, and yeah, really happy to be connecting with you all and to be going on this uh, trip with you, you guys, and and to be in a new land, a new territory, and just have that inspiration and that connection with you all. And if you wanted to get a better idea of my style of photography, my website is terrasura.com, T-E-R-R-A-S-U-R-A. -R -A -S -U -R -A. Um, and yeah, I've been photographing for over 10 years and I really value authentic expression and, you know, natural people in their natural element and being outdoors and yeah, just, yeah. And I feel like I'm a, I don't like being photographed. So I know what it's like to be on the other side and what it's like to be seen. So I feel like I take that into account when I photograph people and, and it does take courage to be seen and um, special. So I, I wanted to offer that to people. And yeah, so if you want to just like a quick headshot, um, it's $95. And that would include the online gallery. And um, you could download and use all the images that are shared on there. And for 10 minutes, it's 250. And then for 20 minutes, 395. And if you wanted an hour session and kind of different outfits and go explore, it would be 595. Um, and again, that would include the online gallery and digital images. So yeah, just wanted to offer that up. And if people did want to schedule anything, whether it's just a quick headshot or a 10 minute something, um, which you would have multiple options to choose from even within that short time period, I would prefer to set it up where it's closer to sunrise or sunset. Of course I can kind of do any time of day, but there's a certain kind of lighting that I'm looking for to capture that natural beauty. Um, yeah, so, and Carrie, who did you say to send emails to if people were interested so we could get a head count? Yeah, so if people are interested in, send it to Mary Beth's email um, and let her know if you're wanting to do just a headshot, which is like just a headshot for 95, or if you're wanting more and sharing, changing outfits. And then too, what would be good outfits for people to wear if they're wanting, you know, to have, uh, or fo be photographed? What would be ideal? Yeah. So whatever, kind of wear dress however you, it fits your brand or however you want to represent yourself number one so be you um I can tell you that photographing with layers you know photographs nicely or adding extra jewelry or scarf or um various textures all that kind of photographs really nicely and richly and then um and even if you don't really wear makeup and you're more of a natural person it does help to like maybe put on a little lip color something so the lips don't look the same color as your face or you know just for the photography purposes to make things pop a little bit more but not necessary either so I want people to feel completely comfortable and you don't need to overdo it and I feel like my style is picking out certain lighting conditions and setting scenarios up where it yeah it's flattering lighting and yeah opportunity there so and as far as colors that photograph best I I really enjoy photographing either neutrals or rich tones, like either maroons or greens or blues that are more deep versus like the bright magenta stuff because that can be reflective on people's faces. Um, yeah, and when in doubt, you can bring stuff and show me and we can, you know, look at it.
together. Any other questions from anybody? I will just attest to her amazing photography. <laughs> She's photographed my family many times and my birth photos and did such a beautiful job. So thank you, Sherry. And it's going to be a gift to have you there. Thank you. And also Sherry will be there, you know, capturing the moments and all of the photography and, and such, you know, as we're just together. So that's gonna be really powerful too. So thank you. I'm really excited, Sherry. That's gonna be amazing. Um, and Miss Carrie Drinkwine, I'll pass it to you just to share any details that you want to add in um, about the space or about what to bring for, for people. Yeah, so um, Carrie and I got the pleasure of being out there. And so we want to give you a very like realistic experience. I'd say you don't need as much as you think. Number one, I went with just a backpack and I still didn't use all the things in my backpack. Um, so it was pretty warm uh, at that time in a month. It's, we were like, they're like the hottest week of the year. So it was like 108 degrees or something. So it was pretty warm. I think by the time everybody comes out, we should expect like 80s during the day and as well as 50s. Um, the teepees are really spacious, but I think like two is very comfortable, is doable, is my honest feedback there. Um, and the, there's one, you know, Rita, you're going to go over the things that are left. The geopods are so great. Um, and I think that the regular rooms are already filled. But I would say that what you would need is I didn't need a pair of tennis shoes, which I thought I was going to. If I would say like a pair of shoes that are that are hardy, so it can be either tennis shoes or a good sandal. Um, if you tend to get cold, you might want a closed-toed shoe. Um, we did get to travel to the hot springs, which was amazing. It's thirty-minute drive, so it's not, not very far. There's a little spring of water running through Dave's land. Mila, she's flashing a flashlight, you guys. So spring moving through Dave's land. So there's some running water through the land. And there's also just like a lot of earth and like the, there's a pool with no chemicals and minerals and salt, um, which is really, really nice. And then I recommend the hot springs to be doing as a morning trip, like, cause it was hot. Like it was like boiling hot, but it was gorgeous. Um, so there's lots of things we get to do. So bring a suit, bring, um, you know, day rompers or clothes like that, you know, shorts, and then, you know, pants attire, I would say just like one or two pairs of either yoga pants or comfy clothes and a nice sweatshirt and you're kind of good to go. Um, there are outdoor showers that are, are, are super suitable and bathrooms that are very clean. So you're not going to be like, pooping in a hole like Carrie and I have done in the jungle in Costa Rica. Um, there's actual bathrooms and all of that. But um, I think that that is like what I would say to bring. And then the food, we're going to be working together with the chef. Everything's going to be 100% organic. Dave connected me via text yesterday with the chef. Um, everything will be 100% organic and everything will be plant-based that we're offering. And if you have any needs that you want outside that, bring some of your own snacks. You got to bring a bag of seeds or whatever, but there will be plenty of food. There will be superfoods like on tap, essentially, like cocoa hydrate and can't beat this. And all the superfoods will be flowing all day long. So you don't need to pack extra superfoods and all that stuff. So I think it's going to be an incredible event. Our trainings are geared towards the mornings, ending by like lunchtime, and then really having that free time. And in the evening, you can, you know, there's a huge bonfire, like almost, it reminded me of being in Bali. It's like sitting in, there's like a huge place where you can have a bonfire in the middle and there's all this seating all the way around. So we can sit around the fire and talk with Dave and talk about any questions that we have because Carrie and I got to learn quite a bit um, while talking to Dave. And so this is your time to really ask those questions on product, ask those questions on, you know, what did it take to get here and just really anything that you want to know and feeling really connected with the business. And the last thing I want to share is, you know, you really so much easier be connected to a vision that you actually see in person, right? Or that you're actually connected with. And so when Carrie and I got to talk to Dave and he said something that really hit me and it was, you know, people say like, oh, I don't see color. I don't see this. I don't see that. He's like, but really what it is, is if they could see God in everyone and everything, no one would ever judge anyone, 
right? And that's the world that he wants. And that's the type of person that he is. And that really like just sat with me so peacefully and so powerfully as like, this is the owner of our company. This is the mission of his heart is for us to be able to, to see God within ourselves, to see, you know, whether it's creator, God, whatever you believe in, but, you know, to be able to see everything as this divine creation and that we would just have the utmost love being here on this planet I just feel so honored <laughs> I just feel so honored um to be a part of this mission and I really hope to see you all there and to connect in with you thank you so much Carrie and thank you Carrie Drinkwine and Carrie Tidwell for taking the time to go out there and check it out for all of us and you know, Dave really wants to make this special for all of us. And, you know, these two ladies took extra time to make it extra special for all of us too. So thank you. And I just have to agree, you know, like hearing you speak those words, it gives me chills. And every time I've gone in person to an event, I cry so many times because there's just this depth and this level of like, whoa, what are we actually a part of? Like, whoa, what look at this impact that we're actually making that has a trajectory beyond our lifetime, you know, that impacts our future generations. Um, so there's nothing like it, you know, being in person and getting to experience this and learn this together. And also remember, this is a business expense. You can write all of this off, your travel, you know, all of it. And we've worked to make it really affordable and accessible to everyone because we just want you to be there and you to grow and like gain as much from this experience as possible, both personally and professionally. And also, you know, anytime I've been to an event, it has helped me to not only deepen my purpose and why I'm doing this and, and deepen, you know, what this means to me, but also it's helped me to expand and get this out to more people and exponentially grow my own business. So it truly is an investment in yourself and in your business and in each other and in each other's success. So I'm just really looking forward to being in person with everybody. And I wanna share just a couple of the details here for you all. I'll share my screen. So this is at the Native Springs Oasis. Oops, sorry. Let me go back. Um. <laughs> I clicked off of it. Let's see if I can get back to it. While you're, while you're pulling that up, I can just share some more things that would be helpful. Yeah. Um, you can bring like a natural bug spray um, and then just make sure it's like three ounces or less if you're carrying it on. Um, and then I, we didn't get clarity about the towels if there's going to be towels. So we'll double check on that because um, I don't know as far as is he going to have towels and all the teepees and geopods. So we'll get clarity on if we need to bring towels. Um, don't forget toothpaste. Carrie and I forgot toothpaste. So that was fun. Um, we had to just be creative. <laughs> um, and then a hat, if you're wanting to be outside and you're wanting to not wear a lot of sunscreen and you're wanting to avoid like the hot sun, because um, it was hot when we were there. I don't think it'll be as hot when, when we go, but um, you can bring a hat if, and then a portable charger, because um, I'm not sure as far as being in the teepees or the geopods, if we'll have access to electricity out there. So just bring a portable charger in a car charger. Um, that also is helpful for making sure we're getting there. And if, and if you can book your flight to get there, to get your car way before two o'clock, two o'clock at the very latest, um, you'll avoid the traffic. So um, that's another thing to be mindful of if you haven't booked your flight. And if so, you just might, you know, can listen to more podcasts or enjoy each other's company on the, on the way. Yay, thank you, Carrie. That's so helpful and I'll open it up for more shares. Um, so this is where it's at, the Native Spring Oasis, which is Dave's larger vision and mission. There's so much behind this. The dates are October 6th through 9th. Um, you can fly into LA. There's a lot of people that are renting cars and um, transporting up there, or you can fly into Bakersfield, which is much closer. That's only like an hour away from the retreat center. Um, and there is kind of ride coordination, but basically it's up to you guys to get yourself there and figure out the transportation, but we 
do have a lot of assistance in connecting you to to people that are already you know have ride shares going there's frequently asked questions um, there are only nine spaces left um, there's one geopod left this is the area that it's in um, here's a little bit of our schedule which we're we have dialed and it's going to just be incredible business training um, that you're you know you're going to get to embody and learn from firsthand you know working out getting activities in in the morning getting trainings in and then going um, to you know the hot springs or the pool or to the sequoias we'll have some great adventures and activities as well this is the land um, but all of this you guys can check out and i'll put it in the chat but those are some of the details that you can look through um and again there are you know there's one geopod left there's four teepees left the geopod can be for a single person or a double if you want to share a bed if you're coming with a close friend um, and the teepees you know two or three people can be in there and mary's going to be sending out a final email you know with this recording and with all of the details um, to really kind of remind and support everybody, but the deadline to make your decision is going to be on the 22nd that's where we need to have everything finalized. Um, and, and i'm also created something for you know figuring out our food um, making sure to see if anybody has any sensitivities and what your preferences are that's going to be emailed out to you as well, so we can get everything dialed by the 22nd so um if you want to join or if you have teammates that want to join or new brand partners just um you know getting this that that information back to us as soon as possible um is important but yeah did did carry um drink wine or carry tidwell did either of you have anything else to add yeah i can just share there's going to be super foods provided by dave as well um, and then um, if you're if there's something that you're wanting like extra training on or needing help with, like, please let Mary Beth know so we can like cater the training to make it really valuable for you. So if there's something specific, um, be specific with what would be helpful and we can, you know, um, address that, too. So we really want to make this. Um, yeah, really, really powerful for you to to get as much as you want out of it and cater it to your needs. So I'm excited to, to hear what your responses are and we can really, um, yeah, come up with amazing trainings that are re relative. Yeah, agreed. Um, and I was gonna say a lot of us are flying in, I think a Sun Country flight that lands at like 10.57 a.m. So if you can get a flight that lands that early, it's a really good option because then you'll be in your rental car by noon, you'll be at the land by four, like, or three probably three. And so that's a really realistic time frame where you're going to be in the dead middle of the day, not hit any traffic. Carrie and I hit all the traffic and didn't get to Dave's land until after nine at night. Um, so it was a very long day of travel and I don't want anybody to hit that hiccup that we did. Um, so I would say just try to get in early and get in that middle of the day travel and then prepare yourself, like bring a snack, stop for water, get what you need, because when we get there, dinner probably will be served around six, six thirty. Um, so you don't want to be showing up fam famish, just kind of bring what you need for that first day. It is, it is some travel, but actually the drive went pretty quick and it was pretty and it was kind of relaxing. So you'll be connecting with some partners just on the way there too. And, um, just enjoy it. Yeah. And then some people have the option to stay Sunday night to Monday. Um, Carrie and I were talking about, you know, we actually liked going to the beach one day. And so that felt really good to just hang out around Venice Beach, close to the airport. Um, and you're welcome to join us, you know, if somewhere around that area, if you're wanting to do that, or if you're wanting to stay in the land and just be in that quiet space, it's very peaceful, very quiet. You're totally kind of unplugged. Um, and it feels good to just be out in nature like that as well and connecting in with everyone. Yay, I'm so excited. Um, does, does anybody have any questions? I'd love to open it up to questions.
So cell service, it, sometimes my phone worked and sometimes it didn't, it, but it did work. Like Carrie's worked better than mine in certain areas. So she has T-Mobile. So T-Mobile works a little better. I could make calls through um, Messenger. So I could still make calls through that. Um, so T-Mobile works up there. I had full service the whole time, but like my bandwidth, oh, sorry. And if you're wanting to like, if for some reason your phone's not working and you can't use somebody else's, if you're wanting to connect in with kids, I see Linda Joe's asking that. Um, Dave has an office that has amazing, you know, the internet. So like if emergency situation happened, one of us will have a phone you can use, or um, if you really needed like strong signal, you could go to Dave's office. Yeah, I see like texting, voice texting, Facebook Messenger, all that worked just fine. There is Wi-Fi on the land. Now with 60 of us on it, who knows how fast that will be. But if your own cell service works up there, you'll be you'll be okay. Just I would say like Zooms where you want to be on camera for a long period of time, probably plan otherwise. Or just clear those days to give yourself that peace to just be present. And bring bring a notebook for notes, you know, and a pen. And so we can do a lot of work in that way. Bring your list, you know, so you can add to it because sometimes names come to you later. And so you could just add to that. Like I really, I was doing a call with my team of like, I, I want to work with the list. So I want to see your list and let's start going through it. And so we just really, yeah, want to help people into action, aligned action that feels authentic. And so, um, Yes, natural soaps, like all eco-friendly products, of course, I would assume we're all into that. So yes, do, and, and Dave doesn't like to waste anything or he upcycles everything. So he is all about the zero waste, of course. He's the one who created the biodegradable packaging. So yes, I would say no, fra no artificial fragrances, ideally, and using more natural soaps or shampoos um, and just being mindful of, you know, strong scents, just don't, no artificial anything, just to be mindful of other people's sensitivities. Natural bug spray. Yeah, natural bug spray as well. Mm -hmm. Even actually rosemary essential oil is in, like the best bug protection I've used. Um, and layers, you know, because it can get a little bit cooler in the evening time and wear comfortable clothes, you know, when you're training and you're learning, you'll want to be really comfortable. I had a question about the food and I popped a link in the comments for Lindsay's products, which I know she has bug spray and lotion and different things. Um, I don't think she has shampoo though, but I'm not sure. The question about the food, maybe I missed it. Is it gluten-free, dairy-free or mm -hmm. plant-free? Everything will be plant organic, based? vegan, grain-free. Mm -hmm. And we're sending out a questionnaire to everyone that is already registered um, to, to see if you have any other specific needs and what your preferences are. So that will be sent out um, after this call. And also Mary's gonna be personally following up and reaching out, you know, following up with everybody that has already registered to um, make sure that you have everything dialed. Um, you said bring an extra, like a charger, a backup charger. If you're in a room, is there, a, is there yeah, the ability there's... to charge? Okay, thanks. I yeah, just... Yeah, and they had towels in the room too, but I, I don't know, I didn't see the full setup, everything wasn't fully set up, but I did see that they had mattresses in the bed, like in the teepees, like, it was like a bunk bed, so there's like a queen on the bottom and a, like a twin on the top, um, and they'll have blankets and things like that, but I, we didn't ask about the towel situation in the teepees or geopods. Yeah, I see like a microfiber towel are the easiest because they dry quickly. They don't build bacteria. You can just bring one. They're thin. Um, and then if you are staying in a geopod or a teepee, I would plan to bring one or two battery banks with you um, because there isn't a plug-in in the teepees. I'm not saying that you can't plug it in somebody's room, but you might just want to have that with you. Just get those little tiny battery, rechargeable batteries and bring a couple with you. That and then... Um... We have flashlights on our phone, but if you want a headlamp, you know, when it gets dark, there are lights around, but if you're, you know, wanting to go to the bathroom and see where you're going, it's the bathrooms and showers I thought were really nice for outdoor ones. Um, and, and then, yeah, just to have a extra light in case you need it, or you could use your phone.
Awesome. Any other questions or excitements? Super excited. Yay. Well, I'm really, really looking forward to this experience with everyone and, you know, just getting to meet in person and be in person. It's unbelievable. And I'm just so grateful for this team and this community and everyone here. You all really deeply inspire me and um, it's going to be amazing seeing everybody's gifts and, um, you know, getting to participate in all the trainings. So. I look forward to it um, and we will be in touch with all of you. We'll send out this replay and emails and more about the food, um, but please let us know in the chat if you have any other questions and otherwise we'll close out for this evening. Uh, just asking about RV sites and like what the camp, uh, the, drive, the car situation like for parking and stuff. Yeah. He'll let us know where to park. I guess I, I, no one has brought up RV sites, but I'm sure there's that available if someone's wanting to do that. Do you, are you wanting to do that or? I'm debating driving the van and it's set up so I could plug it in. I, I mean, there's lots of different ways I could hook up or I could boondock. And so if I did that, I was just wondering what the scenario would be. Yeah, I would connect in with Mary Beth on that and she can contact him directly because yeah, we didn't even bring that question up. And then um, one thing that I did, one thing at Diamond Club that Dave said when he was doing like a morning um, like workout routine with us that really, um, really hit my heart too and that I wanted to share was he was like, you know how if you wrote a song and you heard like other people on the street singing it, how good that would make you feel. <clears throat> he was like, well, I wrote this song 30 years ago and you, you all are singing it. And so just like keep continuing to, to sing our song in our way to keep sharing and spreading. And um, after he said all that and shared about his land, I was like, we should do a business retreat on, on his land. And that's kind of where it all birthed from was at Diamond Club and wanting to make it accessible for everybody, no matter what rank level we are, so we can come together um, and make it affordable and um, attainable for everybody. And so we can walk away with uh, really good trainings and connections and um, further belief in ourselves and what we're doing as a collective. Thanks. Thanks, Carrie. Yeah, there's really truly no words <laughs> how deep these these experiences can go. Um, and I look forward to it. Um, I think Carrie Drinkwine's off videos, but if you had anything else you want to share, let us know, Carrie. Um, and otherwise, we have Leslie Zan in half an hour. So that will be inspiring as well. And again, um, yeah, just getting back to us as quickly as possible with the information so that we can get everybody dialed. Thanks, guys. Go ahead, Gary. Thanks. Oh, I was just going to say, I just don't want any of my teammates to feel left out, like they missed out on this amazing experience. So that's all. I just want to see all my mamas there and connecting. And if you're feeling pulled, we would love to support you with that decision. Um, so yeah, so thanks for this opportunity. And we'll hope to see you there. Beautiful. Thank you all. Love you all. Thank you, everyone. Look forward to this. Thank you, thank Thanks, you. Looking forward to it. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.